Hello everybody and welcome back to another day at the Tarot Cottage. I'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, you guys, thank you so much for all of the follows, the shares, the sub for subscribing, for watching. Um, I'm over 30,000 now. I'm so excited about the growth of this channel and you guys are the reason why this is happening. So thank you so much for your support of me and of this channel and of each other. Um, if you are finding yourself on my channel for the first time, welcome. I do daily pick a card readings here Monday through Friday. I do messages for soulmates and separation as well. So if you're into tarot, into spirituality, please grab yourself a cup of tea, pull up a chair and we'll have a chat. We're all friends here at my table. So today's pick a card reading, we're going to be exploring the person on your mind's secret feelings for you. What are their true secret feelings revealed in this pick a card reading today? So focus on that person on your mind. Um, we do have three piles in front of you. Pile number one with the dolphin spirit and the pink lily. Pile number two with the frog spirit and the zinnia. Pile number three with the unicorn spirit and the purple lily. And, and again, it's we're looking at their secret feelings. How do they truly feel about you secretly? Maybe these are feelings they have it hidden from you, or this doesn't even have to be necessarily a love reading. This can be anyone you're thinking about in your mind. How do they truly feel about you? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into pile number one. As always, my timestamps are below. If you need a moment to pause the video and just choose whatever pile or piles are calling out to you. Um, their secret, true feelings for you revealed. Pile number one. Hello everybody in pile one. I hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me. You guys were drawn to the dolphin spirit and the dark pink lily and this is your reading. Your person's secret true feelings for you revealed. The dolphin spirit is obviously a water animal. Um, so your person could definitely be a water sign. They're very, very playful. They're very intelligent um, and they're very compassionate towards other people. So I do feel like you or this person are very... Um, in tune with your spiritual side, in tune with your compassionate side. You guys could be empathic. Um, I feel strongly that somebody watching is very empathic. Maybe you guys even do tarot, you know, but um, just playful, energetic, intelligent, just a beautiful energy from this person. How does this person truly feel about you? Their secret true feelings for you, feelings that they're hiding, for whatever reason I'm going to draw out a few cards and then we'll talk about them Queen of Swords the six of wands air and fire energy already coming out the Five of Cups. Oops, we have two coming out. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Wands. So lots of fire energy here. Who is secretly, or what are their secret feelings for you? Their secret true feelings for you revealed. The Page of Swords. And on the back of the deck, we have the Death card. So let's talk about these energies, this person. Two of Cups is also coming out as well for you guys today. So let's talk about this person and how they're truly secretly feeling for you. Um, we're going to start over here with this Death card. That is the back of the deck energy. And that is just sort of, for me, the overall feel of how this person is feeling. Um, the death card, people may look at it and be kind of scared by the concept of this death card. It is not truly about necessarily a physical death, but it is about a transformation and seeing the end of one thing to usher in new energy. And I feel like your person really wants a shift in this connection. They, they feel like there is a need for change. Um, when I look over here at the Queen of Swords over top of this Six of Pentacles, I see them trying to be really, really logical when it comes to you. They're trying to be intelligent. Um, they really value um, your logic. 
they are maybe very generous with you and they really have a desire to be very generous with you. But sometimes if they may feel like they're kind of begging for scraps when it comes to your attention, perhaps. So they are, they really would like to have a more balanced connection with you. They would really like to feel um, more in control when they are thinking about you, dealing with you. I feel like they are kind of faking it till they make it in life right now. So I don't feel like the image that they're portraying in life is necessarily the image that they are actually, or doesn't necessarily reflect the feelings that they're truly feeling. We have the six of wands, which is normally a card about victory and about, you know, happiness and success and finally coming out on top. But it's being clarified here by the 10 of wands, which is about a burden. <laughs> Um, and it really represents that passion this person feels for you, that they have not been able to express those passions. But the thing about the Ten of Wands is that there's no indication that this person is going to put those wands down. Um, I feel like they have been pining for you for a while um, and they are getting exhausted. They want somewhere to put this passion. They want somewhere to express this passion. And if you look at the imagery on this card, you see that beautiful moth or butterfly imagery coming up out of out of these thorny, this thorny kind of brushed up area, they desire uh, movement. They desire transformation. They want to put those wands down and actually have that victory with you. They don't want to just be carrying around the burden of this flame for you. They want to have that victory. But this five of cups really shows them suffering in their own mind about the past. They're focused on what they've lost with you. They're focused on what has not happened with you so far as opposed to focusing on what could be or the things that they do have for them, have going for them that could be pleasing to you if they came forward. I feel like for some of you, this is a no contact situation completely because we have this page of swords and he is my watcher. So I do feel like this person is watching your social media if you're not in contact with them right now. I feel like they're keeping tabs on you somehow, even if you don't have social media or, or they could be keeping tabs on you through friends. They're just trying to stay connected to you um, because they are not feeling confident enough to come forward towards you. And the truth of the matter is, is that they they do want to pour all those thoughts into you. They have deep feelings for you. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It does represent new relationships and marriage. And, and truly, that's what this person would like to see. They are in love with you. <laughs> they have a lot of passion wielding for you. They have a lot of love feelings for you. But they're trying to show this logical, well put together, successful person on the outside, when truly they are feeling a lot of self lack, they're feeling a lot of remorse, they're feeling a lot of um, negative feelings when it comes to the lack of movement here. And they really want movement in this connection. We dropped one on the floor. As always, and it is the lover's card. <laughs> so great feelings of attraction here from your person. We also have the hanged man and the king of wands today. So they're kind of feeling hung up by the universe. We've got the chariot on the back of the deck. So we're going to pull that one as well. That's my dog making disgusting noises. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Um, so the lover is represented by Gemini energy really strongly. So one of you could be a Gemini, but you don't have to be. But that lover is really just, it is another soulmate card. It is another card of deep, deep attraction, deep, deep affinity. Um, and it's next to this hanged man card though. So they are feeling kind of stuck in this feeling of, they don't know how to proceed, I don't feel. Because they're putting on a show for other people, I don't feel like they know how to proceed. But it's this feeling of putting themselves in that position. The hanged man can get down from that tree whenever he wants. This cat can let go whenever he wants to. Um, but it's like this, this sense of waiting around for the universe to kind of make a way or clearing the path for you. But they do have a lot of passion they want to wield for you. This person could be an entrepreneur. They could be somebody that works for themselves as far as... Um, following their passions or following something they're really passionate about um, but they have a lot of passion they want to express to you and this could be something they're not sharing with you um, the back of the deck energy was the chariot so this is a decision that they're in they're in decision making mode right now do they reveal their true feelings for you or do they maintain this persona of being you know together and cold and kind of successful and not really caring about the situation 
the chariot is really represented by cancer energy we're starting over here with this water spirit and it really you know is about choice and determination and charging into that decision once it's been made so this is what your person really thinks about engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i feel like they really would love to see that with you with this two of cups oops i just dropped that card sorry guys so i feel like they do they would like to see this they would like to see an engagement they would like to see you know their secret feelings for you revealed or actually that they want to have that marriage that engagement that level of commitment with you very soon Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's really what this chariot is about. It's about making that decision with determination and willpower and charging in. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. This could be somebody who's been having um, feelings for you for a while. And they really want to get to know the true you. They really want to reveal themselves. You know, they may be acting a little bit cold, a little standoffish with that Queen of Swords energy. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You also stay optimistic. So if you've been waiting a while, it doesn't mean that this person is not coming. <sighs> if this person could say anything to you right now with no filter, what would it be? What are some of their secret feelings for you? What do they secretly want to tell you or express to you? Sorry for the camera bringing is shaking, guys. Okay, so here we have, I want that new beginning. They want that new beginning with you. And of course that they do. You know, we had this, it started out with the death card over here. We started with the death. They want that resurrection. They want something. They want to shift this energy into something brand new. You are a goddess or a god. You don't have to be a female, but you it's just they, they find you extremely attractive. That lover's card is about a deep attraction. That king of, of wands is about wanting to express those passions to you. You are my soulmate. So we have this two of cups over here. We have the lover's card. We have the soulmate card. So this could very well be a soulmate for you. Someone that you may have spent many lifetimes together with. And they have things left that they need to say to you as well. On the back of the deck, they have, I dream of a second chance. I'm going to pull that one for you guys. They dream of a second chance with you. But they are feeling a little bit stuck and hung up here on the back of the deck. That hangman energy, but it is a self-imposed restriction. It's a self-imposed imprisonment, if you will, or hung upness. <laughs> I'm not being honest with myself. That's about that, you know, that queen of swords. She doesn't wear her emotions or she doesn't show them very often. Do you want me as much as I want you? You deserve every good thing. It's a wonderful sentiment. I need to love you. Let me. <laughs> they have so much passion. They want to wield with that ten of wands. It's boiling over. It's starting to bubble to the surface. Let me get you guys some charms. Their secret feelings for you revealed. Okay, let's see what we have today. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. Oh my gosh, you guys have a lot of major arcana in this pile, which is really an indication about that soulmate connection, about how important this connection is. And we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. This person really wants to communicate their feelings to you. The Magician is ruled by Mercury, which is a communication planet. It's about, you know, wielding your power over the other elements, t taking control of your life and truly manifesting what you want this person's trying to kind of conjure you up in their own mind we have that wheel of fortune shows that this is a faded connection shows that this is you know written in the charts for you guys this is an important connection for you for your soul growth soulmate connections are very strongly indicated here and that wheel of fortune can sometimes indicate a sudden change of events it doesn't it's not the same sort of energy as the tower of chaos coming in but it is you know 
a fated event that's about to happen. So for some of you guys, this person might be coming forward to reveal themselves to you. We have this marble that makes me think of the sun. And you know, they said here, you deserve every good thing. They really want you to know that they they desire your happiness on the utmost level. Like that's what they truly are focused on. They want you to be happy in life. It can also represent the sacral chakra for some people. We have the a K here and an L. Those could be initials. Uh, we also have a one. So the first or January could be significant to you. We have the guitar pick. What else is in here? We have a little, oh, we have the dolphin, guys. We have the dolphin. Pisces energy represented here. You know, again, another um, a, another sign from spirit that, you know, this person is very kind and playful. And we have the key with the wings, looking at things from a higher perspective, but also being the key to your own happiness. This could be a soulmate connection. When I see feathers like that, when I see wings, I think of soulmate connections. But truly unlocking the secrets and revealing yourself to each other is very important here. We have a commandment. We'll go through that in a moment. We have the engagement ring and we had the engagement. I feel like this person fantasizes about marrying you, <laughs> about having the whole kit and caboodle with you. We have this star, you know, it really shows that deep affinity, the deep love that they have for you, wanting to pour all of their emotion into you. Have, they have not lost faith in this connection. We have the little charm the strawberry so that could mean something to you i just keep hearing that song strawberry wine in my head we have the pentacle and this is from or the penny from 1999 so that could be a significant year to you and that pentacle really represents you know an offer coming in or news coming in out of the blue perhaps um they have they ha want to communicate with you so for some of you guys you may receive some sort of communication from this person if you're not in contact with them we have this charm that says, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. The Marilyn Monroe quote. And we have this charm that says, kind, peace, free, brave, strong, happy, thankful. I feel like these are attributes that you and your person both share, but just really with that dolphin spirit, just the kindness, you know, there's a lot of beautiful energy out of this dolphin spirit. I love the colors, a real warmth, a real playfulness with this person. What else is here? Oh, the commandment from the Bible. Let's see what the Bible is saying today. Remember the Sabbath day. So I always see this charm as, you know, a sign from spirit when your person is putting you on a pedestal above other things of importance in their life. So I really feel like they hold you in that level of importance, um, putting you up on that pedestal above other things that may be important, above religion and other things that maybe other people deem really important in life. They're putting you up there. You're the most important thing. Okay, group number one, that is your reading. This is some of their secret feelings for you revealed. If you know who this person is, um, if this resonated with your situation, of course you know who this person is because this is the person you've been holding in your mind. So sorry. <laughs> if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos or announcements I make. Um, like this video if you choose to and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to group number two And I just hope to see you guys here on another day for a visit at the cottage. Bye guys Hello everybody in group number two and I hope you guys are doing excellent today You guys were drawn to the frog spirit and this beautiful little zinnia And this is your reading their true secret feelings for you revealed the person you're holding in your mind How are they truly secretly feeling about you? We have the frog spirit here the frog is often associated with female energy. Um, it is a sign of good luck. Uh, and it, the frog traverses the water and the land quite easily. So I feel like you are, or this person is very spiritual or able to navigate the spiritual realm with their physical plane quite easily. Sorry guys, I had to pause to cough. I do my videos very early in the morning. So sometimes it takes my voice a while to get into the swing of things. <laughs> So yeah, I just feel like you guys are very um, in tune with your spiritual side. I feel like you or this person are both very emotional creatures. So take what resonates, but leave what doesn't. But getting a sense of that. So let's see what their secret true feelings for you are. How does this person secretly feel? I'll draw out some cards and then we'll discuss their meanings. I don't like to do very much speculation when I just have one card falling because I like to see the clarifier so that I can get a full picture for you. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of, or the Knight of Coins here.
We have the Judgment card. Whoops. The Lovers. The Ten of Cups. Some very wonderful, beautiful energies coming out so far. Very strong, powerful energies. The Nine of Wands. The King of Swords. <clears throat> and on the back of the deck, we have the Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacle Pentacles. So let's discuss how this person is secretly feeling for you. We're going to start over here with the Three of Pentacles. Um, the Three of Pentacles is about building up a foundation with someone. It's about building a life. Um, sometimes when I see the Three of Pentacles, I see or I sense a third party situation. But I'm going to get a little bit of clarity on that right now. We have the Justice card coming up. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I don't necessarily feel like there's a third party involvement here. But I do feel like they really want to build up a foundation with you. And they feel like that is something that is very... They want to build this Ten of Pentacles. They want to build something that they are proud of. They want to build it with you. A foundation, a life that they're very happy with. And they also feel like it's just. They feel like it's the... It is what is meant to be. It is the only outcome that makes sense in their head with this justice card. It levels out those energies for them. We have the Knight of Coins over here being clarified by the Ten of Cups. And that is true. They feel like it's maybe taking themselves a long time to get to you. But there is a dependability of the Knight of Coins. There is a, a yes, a slow progression, but a dependable you know, steady progression towards this happiness. And it's important for me to mention, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. These foundations of love and happiness can't be built overnight either. So they are well aware that this is going to take time. They're well aware that, that you know, that th this happiness that they want, the Ten of Cups, the utmost love and happiness, children, family, marriage, all of that beautiful beautiful energy of having a life with someone, building a life with someone, that it's taking the t some time to get to fruition for them and for yourself. And it is becoming a bit of a burden. They have been carrying it for a long time with this Nine of Wands. And sometimes with the Nine of Wands, there's a sense of um, defensiveness, perhaps. <laughs> you know, it's over, it's being clear or that it's clarifying the judgment card here, which really shows that they want that resurrection. They want this connection to move into a new realm and they want to be able to express some of these wands with you. I feel, I don't feel like this is someone who has had a relationship with you before. I feel like this is someone who wants to build a relationship with you, but I do feel like they have been harboring these feelings for you for a really long time. It's, so long, in fact, that they're trying to be really logical now when it comes to feelings for you. They are strongly attracted to you with the lover's card here. Gemini energy represented very strongly attracted to you. And I just always focus on the bird over top of this couple. You know, this person maybe will write some of their feelings down in the form of a message or a letter or a text or something like that where they're using their words instead of their vocals or their, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, to express this message to you. We have this King of Swords and he's logical and smart. This person could be driven by logic. They could be someone who is very um, honest in life normally, but he doesn't also wear his emotions on his sleeve. So I feel like while he is an honest person and very direct, he could be hiding a little bit of his feelings for you right now. And these are secret feelings that they that this person is expressing to you. So I feel like it's becoming a burden. I feel like they want to express that truth and they feel like that's the only just course of action is to reveal themselves to you so that you guys can begin this process of building up this foundation that you're so, that you will be so happy with. What are their secret true feelings for you revealed? The 
Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come forward with an offer and a valuable one. But it feels like a steadfast energy. It feels like somebody who is really maybe practical and wants to get the job done right. But they could be coming forward with that news that I was talking about with that Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles again. <laughs> you guys could both be growing impatient at the rate of speed at which this person is able to express themselves to you. But they feel like someone who really values doing the right thing and doing it in the right way. So I feel like they really want to make sure that every move they make, they're logical with this King of Swords. They're trying to make sure that every tiny little move they make towards you is a smart one and is the right kind of move. And it may be growing frustrating for you and it's growing frustrating for them too, but they're just trying to do it right. <laughs> Queen of Swords over top of the King of Swords. They feel you're well balanced. They feel you guys are like very yin to their yang. <clears throat> you know, they're able to see themselves ruling with you with that Queen of Swords. You guys could both be air signs perhaps. Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy, guys. And we have the Ten of Swords here on the back of the deck. So I really feel like this Ace of Cups represents that emotional new start, you know, building up. They want to start. They don't want to jump into anything necessarily. They're not even necessarily the type I don't feel that would jump into the bedroom with you. I feel like they want to start this process of, of loving you and of, you know, growing up this foundation with you, building up a foundation you can both be proud of. They want to offer you an emotional new start. And that's what they really feel. On the back of the deck, we have this uh, 10 of swords card. So I feel like, you know, the 10 of swords is truly about your ego releasing ideas that you've become really transfixed upon releasing those you know maybe they had a vision of you in the past of how they wanted things to go and they've had to kind of reevaluate that dream so that they can see the dawn of a new day you know the ten of swords people see as a negative card i do not i see it as an opportunity i see it as you know suffering and making it through a dark night i feel like this could be a long period of time you know with these two nights a very slow progression maybe of no contact even but if you make it through that dark night, there's that beautiful sunrise the next day. And that's what this person is hoping for. Moving this connection with truth, the truth of all these swords, you know, using the truth of the swords, the clarity that they provide in order to start something fresh with you and to truly start building that foundation. To see that success is what they want, the success. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So that I always see that card as like a real negative self-talk type of card, like <clears throat> attraction. The attraction they feel for you is very strong here with that lover's card. Um, but back to this free yourself card, I didn't really finish my thought. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of negative self-talk that tell us that, um, play on our fears so that when we're trying to approach people or wanting to be, reveal ourselves or reveal our truth to them, you know, we kind of have these negative self-talks that stop us from expressing ourselves. And that could be what your person is going through right now. Um, they could be kind of a little bit fearful of revealing that offer to you for fear of what you might say. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. That is a specific message for somebody out there. Maybe perhaps for some of you, there is a third party involvement. And if that message resonates for you, um, then understand to just take what resonates, leave what does not, but it may resonate with someone out there. We also have the chemistry card, strong attraction, strong chemistry, and new love. A new person is stirring your romantic feelings. If this person could say anything to you right now, what would it be? Oops. I'm haunted by us. And I'm watching from the outside. So if there's no contact situation here, it is really playing on their mind. This nine of wands, you know, like I said, a defensiveness, having to hold that, those feelings for you for quite a long time. It's getting tiring. You send me mixed signals. So there could be a flirtation going on here that um, maybe a sort of friend zoned situation. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But this person could have felt friend zoned in the past. And I'm letting go of that past, they're saying. 
they're letting go they're ready to transform this you know with this ten of swords they're ready to, to move past that and they're ready to embark on a new adventure with you if you're willing <laughs> But they're saying I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it. <laughs> so they're feeling a little bit low today. Also in the back of the deck, you are my soulmate. Okay, what do we have today? The Page of Pentacles and the Moon. So these are secret feelings that we're talking about today. And that Moon really talks about that fear. Um, it really talks about those masks that people wear in their life. Um, and the Page of Pentacles shows that they want to come forward and reveal themselves. They want to come forward with news for you. Um, this page does bring about a valuable offer. So this person wants to reveal that truth. They want to take those masks off. K, B, and a spacer or an L. We also have this balance rune. I'm going to see the little blurb about that. We also have two commandments from the Bible. So we'll get to those as well. The rune of joy and pleasure indicates that things will finally be going your way soon. So that is a very good sign. We have the Leo charm or the lion sign. You could be a Leo. Or your person could be a Leo. Always. This person has been feeling a lot of feelings for you. Perhaps somebody from your past, from your friend group in the past, but they've always felt this way. And we had the soulmate card. You know, they will always feel this way. We have the microphone. They may be wanting to get your attention soon, or they just may be into singing, perhaps. And we have two commandments here. This one is, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. And... Remember the Sabbath day. So I always see the Sabbath day one as someone who is putting you on a pedestal above other things of importance in their life. And the I shall not covet thy neighbor's house may um, resonate with someone over here if they are um, resonating with the message of a third party situation. Perhaps you've moved on into another connection and they are worried about messing up that connection that you're in right now. They don't want to come in and end they don't want to come in and mess up anything that you're building up with anyone else. And they're trying to do the right thing with this justice card. That message will not resonate with everyone, but it may resonate with someone out there. Okay. Group number two, that is your reading. These are some of your person's secret thoughts revealed. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, head on over to Instagram if you're over there um, and see what I'm doing over there. I make announcements, I do free readings sometimes. So if you're into that, head on over to Instagram. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last group. And I just really hope to see you guys here in another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye guys. Hello everybody in group three. I hope you're doing amazing today. You guys were drawn to the unicorn spirit and this purple lily. And this is your reading on their true feelings revealed to you, their secret feelings revealed. This unicorn spirit really represents, you know, how they secretly think you are something incredibly rare, <clears throat> excuse me, incredibly secret feelings. You know, they're not revealing them to you. The moon really represents that fear of coming forward. And, you know, the unicorn is that rarity. You are the unicorn. You're incredibly special. And they, they think that your uniqueness is what really draws them to you. Now, what are some of their true feelings revealed to you? What are their secret feelings for you that they're not expressing yet? I'm going to draw whoops, some cards. Sorry about that, guys. We have the Five of Wands. Okay, so they may be feeling like they're in a little bit of competition for you, but I'm going to draw some, some cards and then we'll talk about it. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords, oh my goodness. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Hermit. And on the back of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. 
So let's talk about this person's feelings and let's their secret feelings. And let's talk about this back of the deck energy first. So I don't feel like nece necessarily for most of you that this is a contact situation. And I do feel like you guys are maybe in disconnect from this person for some of you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But sorry, that was just my dog. Um, this eight of cups really shows them, you know, we have the moon in the background of this card as well. We're talking about secret feelings here. I feel like this person has been harboring these feelings for you for a long time and they've been had to be very patient um, with themselves in order to keep this connection going in their own mind. Because we have this Eight of Cups, it shows them walking away. It shows them, you know, wanting to to move away from the distrust. The Eight of Cups is really about that. It's about moving away from dishonesty and revealing yourself, but it's also about moving on, you know, away from <clears throat> to be by yourself, to be solitary. And it feels like they are by themselves um, and they're kind of treading the world alone here. And we're gonna move over here to the Five of Wands being clarified by this Ten of Swords. And as I said earlier, the Five of Wands is really about feeling like there's a lot of competition for your affection, feeling like they don't maybe measure up to what um, they feel you deserve. With this beautiful unicorn energy, they think, again, you're very rare, you're very special. And we have them pining for you for a long time with this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about letting go of an idea that you've become really, that you've had your heart set set on you know it's about finally letting go of that idea and realizing that it's not going to play out the way you want it to play out so you kind of have to shift your focus a lot of people see the ten of swords as a terribly negative card i do not see it that way um, i see it as persevering through darkness reshifting your focus so that you can take advantage of the dawn of that new day and i do feel like this person wants this connection to be shifted into a new energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles here being clarified by the Four of Swords. I've heard the Seven of Pentacles being called the Impatience card, and I feel like they've been reaping a lot emotionally into this connection and not getting back what they want to sow from it. Um, they're kind of impatient, and we have the Four of Swords here, which shows them retreating. There's a lot of retreating from this person. There's a lot of them, you know, sinking into their own mind and kind of getting lost there and feeling entrapped by that. You know, the Four of Swords is not supposed to be about feeling stuck, but I feel like that retreat has totally made them feel stuck with this Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is a self-imposed imprisonment. They are imprisoning themselves because of the fear they have maybe of not having enough to offer you. Um, we'll, we'll draw some more cards in a minute. But it's just the overall feeling is that they're feeling restricted. They're feeling stuck. This hermit energy, there's a lot of loneliness with it. You know, a Virgo represented here. A lot of loneliness with this hermit. They've been holding this light for you, you know, searching in the dark for, for a sign of hope. I just feel like this person today is not feeling great. Um, they're feeling restricted. They're feeling lonely. Um, and they're holding those flames for you. They would really like to be able to reveal the truth to you, I feel. Let's get some more clarity. Their secret true feelings revealed to you. Page of Swords. So they could be watching you if you guys are in no contact right now. That page is a lover of truth. Page of Wands. Ace of Cups. Oh. On the back of the deck, you guys, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse position. So we're going to pull that out. So let's talk about this. So, you know, the fact that both these pages came up right now um, is really an indicator of their opinion of themselves versus their opinion of you, I feel. The pages don't have the confidence or the direction of the knight or the king or the queen. So they pontificate a lot. They spend a lot of time watching. They spend a lot of time, you know, um observing instead of acting you see both of these characters are not in movement they both desire movement they both are reflections of inspired thought that lead to action but they haven't actually acted yet so i feel like they're keeping pretty close tabs on you carefully watching because ultimately what they would really love is to offer you an emotional new start and they want an emotional new start with you but this four of wands in the reverse position really shows me that they are feeling like 
they're worried about the arguments. They're worried that they won't be able to give you what you want. You know, so the, the 11, 11 of the four of wands is really a sign of twin flames here. And I just feel like they are concerned that they don't have enough to offer you, to give you this celebration, to give you this, this homecoming, to give you all of this happiness because you're a unicorn, because you're special and because they don't see themselves in that light. They don't see themselves as a special unicorn. <laughs> we have the seven of cups. They're fantasizing about you. They're seven, fantasizing about you and what they want with you. But again, I feel like they think you have a lot of options open to you. Page of Cups in the reverse position. <clears throat> so when I see that page in the reverse position, I think of, you know, somebody who is kind of maybe a little bit immature, maybe emotionally impetuous a bit, and maybe kind of, I don't like to use the word bratty, but like they're not getting what they want, so they feel kind of in their feelings right now. And we have this judgment card. They want to move this into a new place. They just do not know how, I don't feel. They don't know what to do to move this connection around but their secret feelings are that they they are heartbroken they are feeling stuck they want an emotional new start with you but right now they're they have they can't see a way we have finances and career being an issue right now and that could be where this discrepancy is it could be that you know you're this beautiful unicorn you are this impeccable person who they feel has so many amazing qualities and they right now are you know a page they don't have the finances the security that they want to offer you we have the unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't think it has anything to do with chemistry or attraction, but I do feel like this person's fears are really paramount. And I feel like they're letting any excuse come between them making a move. They're feeling um, maybe, and, and they're also, you know, they're also feeling a little bit, you know, upset and kind of grouchy at the fact that there is no movement, but they're, they've put themselves in that place of restriction. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So this could be somebody in your friend group. But you guys could be getting advice on this person from your friend. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that is truly what this whole spread I feel like is about. This person knows what they want, but they have not they are focused so much on their negative um, mindset and they're feeling so entrapped by their own decisions and their own actions and their own inaction that um, they're not communicating to the universe about what they truly want. All they're communicating to the universe is more of these feelings of lack, more of these feelings of feeling entrapped. <clears throat> and it's truly something that they need to shift their energy so that they can they can make it very clear with the universe what they want through their thoughts, feelings, and actions. And so that the universe, as the secret says, will correspond to the nature of your song. We have playfulness on the back of the deck. And when I see that card, I often think about, you know, a friendship that was very flirtatious, that never made it into the physical realm. And maybe that's where all of this person is really regretting, you know, that 10 of swords. They really wish they had made a move back in the day. they could say anything to you right now, what would it be? What would this person say to you? I have let things that I have that I want to say, <laughs> but what are some of those things? <laughs> I want a new beginning. That 10 of swords really represents, and the longing is eating away at me. That 10 of swords represents that new beginning, making it through the dark, dark night so that they can transcend something is holding me back and that something is themselves i wish i had fought harder for us in the past i feel and they're telling you that they didn't follow their heart either back then a couple more messages for you here we would make beautiful babies together that's what they're saying <laughs> I'm in love with you and I want to make things right one day. It's what they're hoping for. Your body drives me crazy. They have a lot of, um, a lot of physical energy towards you as well. Losing you is my biggest regret. So not coming forward, not being honest with themselves, um, not being honest with you in the past is one of their biggest regrets.
All right, let's see what we have today. We have the chariot and the six of pentacles. So, you know, <laughs> that chariot really represents that willpower and determination that is needed here in order to um, create movement in this situation. I feel like some this person sometimes right now, they want balance in this connection. They want um, to be generous with you. They want to be in the position to be able to be generous with you. But right now they kind of feel like they're begging for scraps. I feel like when it comes in, comes to your connection, but that chariot is really a call for action. It's a call to make that decision and then to drive into it with determination and willpower. It is advice from spirit. We have J. Oh, sorry. That's my dog. J and Y here. We have the clock. So a lot of time could have passed between um, being able to communicate with this person and we have the moon as well. So they have been hiding these, these feelings from you, wearing those masks for quite a while. We have the strawberry. That charm came up in the last pile, I believe. So there may be a message for you waiting as well if you resonate with that strawberry charm. Um, we have you versus you, which is truly what we're talking about with this person. You know, they have, they're truly fighting themselves they are restricting themselves when it comes to you we have made with love charm we have the little um, pile of grapes a star they don't want to give up hope you truly are the person that keeps them it's like you're the nav you're they're watching you in the sky it's like you are this shining star you're something incredibly rare incredibly special they don't want it to burn out before they get a chance to um, express themselves to you we have this feather or this leaf that makes me think of higher perspective makes me think of soulmate connections as well we have three charms from the bible here commandments so we'll read those what do they say they're very small and teeny thou shalt not make graven images is this first one Whoops, slippery little sucker. Oh, I can't read that. My eyes are terrible. Thou shalt not steal is the second one. And this one is, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. So culture or religious factors could be at play here. But also I see these charms as a sign from spirit that this person is holding you in a level of importance. You know, um, Thou shalt not make graven images. Thou shalt not steal. Sometimes when I see that that shalt not steal card, I think of someone who, like you guys may be in some sort of connection right now and maybe you guys are dating around. They feel like they're in competition for you. So maybe you guys are um, currently in a relationship and that is um, a message from, from them that they don't want to come in and ruin what you have. So that really makes them feel very restricted. Um, take what resonates, but leave what does not. And the other two charms makes me feel like they are holding you on that level of importance that should be designated to what some people feel are more important things like God and spirit. They're putting you up on that pedestal. Okay, group number three, that is your reading. These are some of your person's secret thoughts towards you how they're secretly feeling for you. If this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear um, your stories. If you feel called to, head on over to Instagram and check me out over there. Uh, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, do all of those wonderful things for me. Um, it would really help me out. And ultimately, I just hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, guys.